happened. Charlottesville, car ramming attack killed three wounded 19, and I'm worried about these domestic attacks. As a matter of fact, I was forced to focus on it a little bit more yesterday in my office in Los Angeles. Uh, one of the people opening the mail opened an envelope and a bunch of powder fell out with a note about uh, me dying and killing Hillary Clinton and on and on and on. This is getting more frequent. And uh, I know that we have privacy concerns and information sharing and all of that, but I'm wondering what can we do uh, to get a handle, uh, a fix on these lone um, killers, um, and not simply uh, just say we, can't, we throw our hands up and we can't really do anything because of privacy concerns. And uh, I'm wondering, uh, particularly at our financial institutions and banks, et cetera, um, if questionnaires uh, that does not invade privacy, but simply ask uh, questions about what the intentions are for the use of certain money under certain circumstances, and those people can say whatever they want to and they can respond in whatever they, way they want to, but if resources are used to go out and, and commit killings, et cetera, they will have lied uh, on the questionnaire and perhaps that can trigger um, some kind of actions um, to begin to prevent this kind of uh, domestic um, terrorism. I think we should focus a lot on domestic terrorism also. So I would like to ask again, given all that you have said, about um, how difficult it is and the privacy concerns. Do you have any thoughts about what we can do to begin to deal with the KKK and the white nationalists, the, um, the extremists, the alt-right? Uh, they're on the internet, the Brett Bart. If you look at the YouTube, you see how much they want to kill me and others. What, what can we do? Anybody, any one of you? Sure, I think there's a, there's a couple things to unpack there. Um, first is, I, I absolutely agree, it's not an either-or proposition, right? You should be worried about the Omar Mateens and the Orlando shooters of the world as much as you are the, the James Fields and the um, Dylan Roofs of the world. Uh, and, I th and I'm concerned when we look at these issues that we tend, tend to bifurcate it and make it into buckets. Um, there are different programs that we could address in these things. Um, uh, domestic extremists tend to use criminal activities in order to fund their attacks and in a way that jihadists don't. Um, so they're usually more likely to pop on the radar on these things. There's a number of different organizations that are doing interventions and spaces on, um, on far right and domestic extremism groups like Life After Hate out of Chicago. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to interrupt. I have to yield to Mr. Gothheimer. He has to go.